These type of videos are going super viral recently. As you can see, some of these videos get millions of views. They're mostly posted on TikTok, and they're over a minute long, which means the creators are actually making money from them. But it's not just on TikTok. People are doing the same thing on YouTube too, and getting millions of views there as well. Here's one channel that's doing it, and here's another one, both getting huge numbers. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can make videos like this too. First, go to one of these viral videos, then take a screenshot of every frame. Yes, literally every frame. Once you're done, you'll have a folder full of image frames. Next, open the GPT model called Image Recreation Pro. Start a chat and upload the first frame you want to recreate. This GPT model will give you a JSON output based on the image. Copy that output. Now go to Open Art and click on the Image tab, then click Create Image. Choose the model Google Image 3. Paste the JSON you copied earlier. Set the size to 9 by 16 and select how many images you want, let's say 4, and boom, you'll get results like this. Go back to the GPT model and repeat the same steps for the other frames. Do it for each one. Here's an example of what I got from doing this. These are all the outputs I generated using OpenArt. Pick one of the AI-generated images. Click on Image to Video. It'll take you to a new page. Select the Kling 2.5 model. Then describe what you want to see, like person eating fruit. You can choose between 5 or 10 seconds. Let's try 10 seconds. Click Create. Here are the results. This is 5 seconds. Looks pretty good. And this one's 10 seconds. Same result, just longer. Now let's try it inside Kling AI. Go to the Video tab. Upload one of the images you got from OpenArt. Then click the DeepSeek button. This tells Kling AI to generate the animation based on that image. I used the 2.1 model and set the output to 1. Then clicked Generate. I also tried this with a few other images. This method is especially useful if you're not sure how to write prompts. But here's a tip. Don't just click Deep Seek right away. Instead, first type a description, like drinking glass of water, then click Deep Seek. It'll create a better prompt for you. Sometimes the results won't work. You might get failed generations like this one. If that happens, try a different video model. Here are some of the results Kling AI gave me. Some turned out great, some not so much. This one, for example, looks really good, but it's clear you need to prompt the model very carefully. And that's how people are making these viral AI videos. Just remember, you'll run into a few issues along the way. AI still doesn't fully understand how to create perfect video sequences, so expect some bad generations. But keep testing and improving. Thanks for watching. You'll find all the links and tools I used in this video in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe.